Now, uh, to finish off uh, my detail here, uh, this question of putting in some text. So I've used a combination of tags and text. So this is just general text. It's a text note with a, um, a leader on it pointing to the face here. Again, similarly for the gutter, similarly for the wall plate there, and similarly for the roof construction. And then uh, for the wall, I used a tag, and I'm going to show you how I made that tag. So here it is here. If I go into the edit label, you can see I've got the type mark with the break and the description there. Okay. And I have set this at two mil aerial, transparent. Okay. And I've loaded that into uh, the project. And all I need to do then is go into annotate, tag by category and pick up the one there and uh, the note will appear. Now, if it doesn't appear, it is because, look, I'm going to pick on the um, crop region there. And the outer one here is known as the text uh, crop. Now, look, if I bring the text crop into there, see the way all my text disappeared? Whereas if I drag it out, uh, the text will come in. And that is pretty handy to be able to do that. When I'm finished with that, uh, I'm going to turn off my crop region and uh, and that is my detail more or less finished. Now, that same exercise is repeated for call out two and for call out three. Um, so using what's there and overlaying using the uh, detail items, masking regions, filled regions, and then your construction notes. Okay, my construction notes here are two mil aerial. Okay, I made that uh, because that's roughly correct. Maybe at a scale of one to ten, that's looking pretty correct to me. And uh, and that's it. So um, I could put in a couple of dimensions here if I wanted as well. Actually, Roberta asked a question about the soffit, and you can model in the soffit. But if I wasn't going to model in the soffit, I would actually make this little bit of a fill region and I would pick maybe a, cro a diagonal cross hatch or something like that and uh, just draw in a box across there and um, okay it's saying it's a little bit small let's get in a little bit tighter here okay and finish that now that could do as my soffit and actually I'll just shift it up there a little bit. So a note uh, to go in there and let's do that. Let's uh, copy a note there down to here and instead of that is going to be a face, a soffit. And it'll probably be, I think it was a 218. Okay, select and move up a little bit here. Oh, here you go. And uh, as I said, if I turn off my crop region, oh, not that one, this one here. That's perfect, there's my first detail done. So uh, I can drag that onto a sheet at any point that I want to do that. That's it, that's detailing via Revit.